Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to once again to the People's Forum. I'm not in the groove of telling stories, ladies and gentlemen, but somebody sent me a mini video to my WhatsApp, and it was such a beautiful story that I want to share it with you. It's a story about the beggar boy. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this beggar boy was kind of fed up with his life. He was only 20 years old, and he thought his destiny was only to beg. So he asked around a few questions to a lot of people, how can I find out my destiny? And people told him of this Buddha, this wise Buddha that lived all the way in the mountains. So the beggar boy decided to take a trip to see this Buddha. The first night out in this trip from this long walk, he was very tired and he had no money and he sought some place to lay his head. And he stopped at a house and the people of the house were so receptive that they invited him inside to rest. The following morning when he got up to continue on his journey, the woman of the house came over to him and said, by the way, young man, where are you going? And he says, ma'am, I'm on my way to see the wise Buddha because there's a question I want to ask him. The lady said, could you do this for me? And he said, what? She said, well, I have a 16 year old daughter and my daughter has not spoken since she was born. Could you ask the Buddha why she has not spoken for me? Could you do that? And the beggar boy said, of course I will. I will ask the question for you, no problem. And he continued on his journey. Further on into the journey, ladies and gentlemen, he met upon a wizard. Now he had this big forestry to walk through. There was a lot of shrubs and bushes and alligators and lions and all those stuff waiting for him in the forest. And he said to the wizard, wizard, can you help me? And the wizard, without hesitation, helped him to cross through the treacherous part of the forest. And got into that part of his destination, the wizard asked him, may I ask you a question, young man? And the young boy said, yes, well, of course. He says, where are you going? And he says, well, <laughs> sir, I'm on my way to see the wise Buddha to ask him a question. The wizard said, really? Could you ask the wise Buddha a question for me? And the young boy says, what is it? He said, well, I've been wanting to go to heaven. And um, for some reason, I just cannot get to heaven. Could you ask him why? And the young boy did not hesitate. Of course, he picked up yet another question. Further on into the trip, ladies and gentlemen, he came across a turtle. And he had this big, vast water that he had to go over to get to his final destination. And he asked the turtle, Mr. Turtle, could you assist me in getting to the other side of the lake? The turtle did not hesitate, ladies and gentlemen, put him on his back and took him to the other side of the lake. The turtle said, can I ask you a question, young man? Where are you going? He said, well, well, Mr. Turtle, I want to find out my destiny. So I'm on my way to meet the wise Buddha. The turtle said, really? In excitement. Can you ask the wise Buddha a question for me? And the young man, without hesitation, says, what is the question? He said, well, you see, I always wanted to become a dragon. And for the life of me, I cannot become a dragon. Could you ask this wise Buddha for me, what does it take to become a dragon? The young boy did not hesitate and continue on his journey. When he got to where the wise Buddha was, he noticed that there was a whole lot of other people so, you know, of course, the Buddha could not answer everybody's questions, all the questions that were asked. So the Buddha stand up and said, listen, for all of you that are here, I am going to give you three questions to ask. Three questions and three questions only. Wow. The little boy just remembered. Wow. I have a question of my own to ask. The, little, the lady at the house had put me up. She have a question to ask, that's two. The wizard have a question to ask, that's three. 
And of course, the turtle have a question to ask. That's four. How am I going to do this? Four questions, but only get a chance to ask three. And the young boy selflessly think within himself, and he said, mm, this is easy. I personally will forget my question, because after all, I'm only a beggar. I can go back to begging. But this lady, she wants her daughter to talk. So I'm going to ask the question. And of course, the wizard wants to go to heaven. So I'm going to ask the question for the wizard. And not to mention the turtle. The turtle wants to become a dragon. So I am going to ask the question for the turtle. And he asked the question. He asked the question for the turtle. Mr. Buddha, what does it take for the turtle to become a dragon? The wise old Buddha stroke his beard and says, <laughs> very simple. All the turtle has to do is come out of his shell and he will become a dragon. The little boy went back and says, what does it take for the wizard to become heaven bound? The Buddha stroke his beard again and says, very simple. You see that staff that the Buddha is holding? Tell him to let go of his staff and he'll ascend up into heaven just like that little boy smiled and said so what about the little girl that cannot talk the buzzer once again stroked his beard and said it's very very simple all a little girl has to do is to meet her soulmate and she will speak on seeing him ladies and gentlemen the little boy was so excited he went back told the turtle listen hey if you want to become a dragon you have to get rid of your shell the turtle said, what? Get rid of my shell? Of course. And the turtle stepped out of his shell. On stepping out of his shell, ladies and gentlemen, the turtle noticed that there was nothing but fine pearl from the bottom of the ocean that he has been plowing all these years and collecting fine pearls. And he turned to the little boys and said, listen, man, thank you very much for giving me that information, asking the question for me of this wise Buddha. And here I am a dragon I don't need that shell no more you see all the fine pearls you can have them for yourself the little boy was so excited collected all the pearls he was now rich and he went along his way when he got to the wizard he said mr. wizard I spoke to the Buddha the wizard said what he said yes I spoke to the, the Buddha and the Buddha told me that in order for you to go to heaven you have to let go of your staff the man said, that's all I have to do? The little boy said, yes, let go of your staff. Ladies and gentlemen, the wizard handed the staff to the little boy. He was further on his way. He has one more step to make to fill his obligation because he told everybody he was going to ask the question for them. When he got to where the lady was, and he says, uh, Madam, I have the question, I have the answer. I have the answer for you to that question that you asked. And the lady was so astonished. I said, really, really, what is it? And by the time she could open up her mouth, the little girl that was 16 years old and couldn't speak came around and says, ah, is that the young man that slept here last night? She talked. And ladies and gentlemen, both the little boy and the girl were soulmates. Now the moral of this story, ladies and gentlemen, it is there clear for everyone to see. If you think of others and put your own personal thoughts and care some time to the side just to help somebody else who is in a worse position than you, and ladies and gentlemen, as you see with this beggar boy, the outcome of your life can be a whole lot better. Sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, we have our last dollar, but because we're in a better position, to get back another dollar, I would give my dollar away to someone who needs it much more than me. So the moral of this beggar boy's story is, is not to be selfish. Think of others. Think how much you can help others to make it through. Sometimes it's not much that they ask for. Because sometimes I know most of you don't have it to give. But if you give of your last sometime, you'll never know. The Almighty God will make the abundance of blessing come pouring to your doorstep. 
So ladies and gentlemen, the moral of the story is to give and give freely. The Almighty will repay you in abundance in return. Thank you very much for watching this video. And I hope you do learn something from this beggar boy story. Thank you.